online and on your smart speaker. Scholarships now open at Mary MacKillop Catholic College. Apply online. Hit News Briefing. Hello, Emma Griffiths with your news briefing. Two men have been charged with murder after a human skeleton was found in a national park in Queensland. Police believe the remains found in the Glasshouse Mountains belong to 57-year-old Donna Howe, a kabulcha woman who went missing in April. Detective Inspector Tony Green says investigations are ongoing. Donna does know uh, and has a connection with the two people that are currently charged and before the court. We've got a number of investigations and lines of inquiries to uh, conduct and and uh, we are waiting for results on forensics and also results on a number of inquiries that we're currently conducting. The Energy Minister is rejecting a nuclear push from the Coalition, labelling it a complete joke. The Federal Opposition has called on the Government to explore nuclear as a fuel option, but Chris Bowen says the plan has no credibility. Nuclear is the most expensive form of energy. We have a cost of living crisis, energy prices going through the roof, and what's their big bright idea? They say, let's come up with the most expensive form of energy and let's put that in the system because that's going to make power prices cheaper. They want that debate? They really want to argue that? Bring it on. A US investment giant is a step closer to total control of the James Packer-backed Crown Resorts. The New South Wales and Victorian gaming regulators giving the green light for Blackstone's almost $9 billion takeover. And PM Anthony Albanese will link up with his New Zealand counterpart tonight. Jacinda Ardern is set to land in Sydney in the coming hours. The two leaders will have dinner at Kirribilli House. Wherever your journey takes you, insist on quality and reliability. Insist on an Australian-made Century battery. Find yours today at centurybatteries.com.au. In sport, it's back to the drawing board for New South Wales to keep the Origin Series alive after going down to Queensland 16-10 to 10 last night. Former New South Wales enforcer Mark Geyer says a lot of things went wrong for the Blues. They didn't really have a plan B, New South Wales, for Nathan Cleary's kicking game. They hassled him all night. In fact, I've never seen Nathan Cleary after a game so battered and bruised. Didn't get much protection from his big boys. Meantime, some injury concerns for Blues debutant Katoni Staggs, who suffered a cold cool shoulder while Checking the afternoon weather, just blue skies for Toowoomba with a max of 11, mostly sunny and 11 again tomorrow with a low of just 2 degrees. And our listener app is your new home of local news. Download to listen live or on demand now.